Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to apply oxalic acid to the colonies. You want to make sure you have hand protection and eye protection. It's not a bad idea to have some baking soda around too, just in case you splash them on your skin. Okay, so when you open the hives, you just puff a little bit of smoke on the bees so they don't fly away. And you apply the oxalic evenly on the cluster of bees in between the frame. Oops. And you want to make sure you get this treatment on the bees. So it's a contact treatment and you want to have it directly contacting the bees. So this is what it'll look like in a single or a double when you can see the cluster. You want to make sure you can actually see where the bees are before you start applying the treatment. Now if you open the hive and you have a double and you can't really see where the cluster is, you're going to have to open the hive up to the second brood chamber, like so. So you're going to crack it and tilt it. There they are. Give them a little puff of smoke. And you're going to apply the treatment as evenly as possible throughout the cluster. And we'll show you a couple of ways of doing that so you can kind of squirt the oxide a little bit on the bees above and try to even out the rest of the treatment on the bees below. Then you just close them up. And generally this is when you'll be wrapping hives too. This is typically the last thing we do here in Southern Ontario for winter. So we've got another hive here that needs to go into the second box to find the cluster and evenly spraying some of the oxalic on the cluster and up above as well. So the bees will move this around themselves. And it's a lot nicer when you have somebody holding the box for you. This is on a warmer day so they're a little more spread out. So it's much, much nicer to do it on a colder day when they're all together. But that's it. It's fairly simple. I hope you and your bees have a good winter.